G'day and welcome to Aussie Vision and we are talking about Australia Decides, our own national final. Only 24 hours out from the beginning, we've got a jury show tomorrow, plus then the live show on Saturday. So yeah, we thought we might talk about some of the top contenders and maybe make some little predictions and say what our favourites are, you know, now that's only 24 hours away, um, we should commit to something really at this point. Uh, our third place probably, and we see that there's three contenders really to take out the crown. We probably don't see anyone else from these three, so we might just quickly go through them. Our third place, Michael, who is it? It's Shepard, uh, the bookie's favourite, mm. on my way. Uh, why are we putting it third? I think we're putting this third because it's a really great, well-constructed pop song from a great group that have got recognisability factor and who are do going to do a great job of this regardless. It's a safe pair of hands. It definitely is. Seems like a continuation of what Australia does at Eurovision. Well produced, slick pop. Mm. If it got the ticket, I don't think anyone would be too disappointed about that. No, we're very happy with it going. That's absolutely fine. I think that probably the reason we have it third rather than the other two is because it is low risk. And I feel like there is this national final this year and Australians really want a high risk song. And so I f feel that they might just not be gritty and risky enough. Probably sets them in good stead uh, for the national final because they, they're you know, one of the chances not to flop on the night. Mm. So I've got a feeling they're going to be very, very high up the order. For sure. And, well, what do we think? Can they actually win, though? Even though it's our third place, can this win the contest? Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. Big rec recognition factor with the uh, general public. Should be a good, solid performance. Add some good staging. Real contender. Yep, look out for them. All right, let's move on to our second place. It was only just by a whisker. Um, is Kate Miller, Heidke and Zero Gravity. What do we love about this, Michael? Well, we wanted risk. Uh, we want something different, and this certainly ticks all the boxes. Again, experienced performer. I can see she could really perform this very, very well. It's going to be vocally challenging. She's got those operatic bits, but she's a classically trained singer, and I think she should be able to deliver on the night. Totally. We, we, we call this a Vegemite song, uh, just because people are going to love it or they're going to hate it. And because of that, I think it gives some grit to it. It gives some quirkiness to it. It, it doesn't matter that some people don't like. You don't need to win over everybody at Eurovision. Absolutely. You need a percentage of the people who love the song. And people who love the song really love it. She combines pop and opera really well. She's quirky. She's recognisable. And it's high risk. And she will do flawless vocals and... The staging should be pretty epic, I reckon, for this one. And I think it kind of needs to be with this one, Dale. If not, it's just going to end up being a weird song. Uh, a good song with just a bit of a weird performance or something. Really stage the hell out of it. Mm. It deserves it. This song really, really deserves it. For sure. Okay, well, let's move on to our first. Um, it is Electric Fields and 2000 and whatever. Mm. You start, Michael. What do we like about this? Again, let's go for that risk factor. This is something completely different. This is something attention-grabbing. Um, it, it, I think it's got Australia Eurovision written all over it personally, mm. but now we've got to see something live, and it's got to come alive. I think this is the one we're most worried about how it's going to be replicated live because this studio is fantastic. The indi indigenous language, um, it is so upbeat and just grabs you. You just can't ignore this. But how is that going to come across live? And it's probably the one we're most worried about, but it probably is our favourite at the same time. Absolutely. Is it the favourite to win? Do you think it's going to win, though? Um, personally, I don't think it is, yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. As much as it's my favourite track, I think there is just so many question marks. If I was a betting man, and you certainly like a bet, mm -hmm. I think it might get one of the places, but I don't know if we'll get the top spot. I think we've ended up going with, in the end, to probably go, it is our favourite, but we probably feel like they're a safer pair of hands in the quirkiness factor is Kate Miller Heike. And at the moment... It's probably our pick to, to win. Yeah, I definitely think that too. I think Kate's going to take the crown with the right kind of performance. Yep. And I'd be pretty happy with that. I'm really, really happy. And I think we'd be happy with all three acts representing Australia. We're in a great, unique position to have three songs that we're really happy with to represent our country. Absolutely. What about the best of the rest? Is there mm. any dark horses, any, anyone to jump out of the pack and perhaps snatch the crown? I think it'll take a lot to beat these threes. If, but if they don't, like, I don't know, vocal issue or staging issue... And one of the other ones really elevate uh, a song. And I'm thinking someone like an Alfie Arcuri with the vocal and staging and um, also Mark Vincent's vocal could sneak a surprise in terms of getting like towards the top three in the tally vote. But boy, the other three are going to really have to do something wrong for one of the other ones, I think, to come up and win. But it's not always about the winning. Yeah, no, look, I'd have to pick those two as well. Alfie in particular, very steady, very strong, should be jury, should be televote. Mm. Um, as far as Mark goes, that vocal is 
going to floor people, I'm pretty sure. So expect a fair bit of telly. I think vote. they'll be picking up the phones to vote for Expect a fair bit of telly one. vote from him. So if anyone does slip up on the night, uh, those guys could zoom in and maybe uh, cause a bit of an upset. Okay, well, there we go. Already 24 hours out. We'll probably touch base after the jury final because I think we'll have a better, better indication about what might happen on the night after that one. Got to see these things live. It is make or break. It's going to be great to have the national final. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye.